Well, hello everybody. Today I'm going to partially show you how I installed my Gold Stripe lighted windshield trim. First of all, please pardon the audio and video problems I had making this video in that my primary camera on my head did not produce any audio sound whatsoever, which kind of messes up some of the audio for this video. This is what my baby is looking like before I add the new lights to it. I had more lights on here than I realized. So the new lights are gonna go here, at the front. First, you gotta remove the seat. You gotta have both on both sides of the seat underneath here. So you have to remove these panels. In order to do that, you have to open these doors. So this will be able to swing out. And then all you gotta do is pull on the bottom here. Now to remove the seat, what you gotta do is come and grab it by both ends, like such, lift straight up. Put your fingers underneath these tabs to protect your, your paint. And slide it forward. I forgot to tell you that you have to disconnect the heater thing on this side before you pull the seat up. So I'm gonna move it back. Place for a minute. Disconnect the heater connection which is right over here. Push in on the tin. There. Look straight up. That cord can go up with this when you take it out. You pull up. Make sure the cord's coming up with it. You pull it up. Put it somewhere where you don't need it inside of your way. So now we're gonna go towards the front of the motorcycle to do the rest of our project here. Before you install anything, you want to make sure your lights work before you make an installation. So I'm going to pull them up here. I already have a gold stripe assembly in here that attached to my multiple connections. So I'm going to do this disconnect the left and right side of what I already have. I have another wire harness coming in that I can add these to it. But for now I just want to test the lights. See, the light did that test, and that's how bright they're going to be in front. I'm going to test the signal, the right side, and now the left side. The flash is in the works, daytime running lights as well. So they work. I'm going to go ahead and install them. The instruction is first telling us that we need to remove this screw beneath the mirror. But as you can see, I have a session installed here now to get off. Um, but it's still the same boat up in there. Right up in there, I'm going to take off. I'm going to move that my way temporarily. I'll loosen this screw. Five millimeter wrench. So I'm going to do what you guys to see. There's the screw. So we're going to set this aside and pull down on this connector. 
that might have a sensor attached to it. I may have to go in and get these off. So once I placed the wire behind this fairing that we're talking about, I put this up there and you have to note the position and the fit. So I put a piece of tape there to note where it's gonna be. This just hold it up, these two pieces, and this is to guide me once I take the adhesive off as to where to place that. They normally want you to put it down, then run the wire. I figure run the wire first, that way you know how much room play you got with the wire. You don't have to run all the way through, just down behind that panel for now. After you mark your location with the blue tape, you can move the light itself out the way or further back so you can run your wires back behind the panel and then stick it down to where you need it to go. I initially ran my wires down first. Then once I was able to get them behind the panel in the right spot, I then ran them on to the back next to the tank and to the back of the motorcycle. After I run the light wire down behind here, behind this connector and on through the bike, now it's time to put the mirror back on and we can finish up by doing the other side. Then the instructions, if I understand them correctly, want us to run the wires down to underneath some of these panels by the radiator, then back. Unless I misunderstood it again, those wires are too short to do it that way. So I ran it straight from where it goes in from the mirror to the back of the bike. The right blink room. Wow, y'all. There's plenty of signal there. The way the bike looks from the front. Why everything's flashing. The way my bike looks from the front, nothing flashing. Thank you for watching.